We've been talking a lot about uh, the internet, of course. We've been talking a lot about crowdsourcing. We've heard crowdsourcing many times here. We've talked a lot about motivation. I hope uh, when, when someone comes here to talk about motivation for crowdsourcing, we don't feel that it's more of the same, but it's actually that motivation is a very important issue, a very important challenge for any of uh, the, the, the work that we're developing here. And uh, crowdsourcing is uh, right at the, the, the center of uh, the, the, the mainstream of, uh, of that. Okay, so Fernando, you are welcome. <coughs> so hello, my name is Fernando. I am a master's degree in business student. And um, uh, one of my works is on motivations to participate in online crowdsourcing. Um, it goes in the same way of your work, but uh, I would perceive some differences. And I think we will talk a lot because uh, it's, I, I, I thought, fantastic your work. So maybe we can talk after. Uh, the reason of this work is because uh, we were trying to develop um, a study about why surfers uh, surf. Uh, they participate of an online platform to discover new spots to surf. And why do they participate on these platforms? And uh, we, we, we stay on the Malone and Obasher uh, theory about love, glory, and uh, money, but we perceive that uh, there was some other motivations, and we developed a systematic review to see what were these other uh, motivational factors. So the, the objective of this work is to identification of motivational factors involved in the participation of users in the crowdsourcing platforms. Um, I, I think an uh, important uh, thing to talk here is this is uh, a part of my dissertation in business. So th there are other um, stuffs in this uh, dissertation that are uh, types of platforms and uh, we are developing a research about the uh, motivation and participation in the uh, uh, urban, correct? Uh, so uh, we performed a systematic literature review using Google Scholar platform. Uh, the words used on systematic review were crowdsourcing and motivation. Um, an important thing here is we um, choose for uh, Google Scholar because um, uh, talking with uh, Professor Jugantil, we, we, we think we can um, refine for ourselves the research. So we have uh, some filters here to get to the 20 final articles that compose this systematic review. Uh, the first filter, we, we found more than 20,000 articles. Then the second filter, um, we, uh, we we get there with two page results in a row with no relevance to the study. So uh, there were 20 articles or 20 results that doesn't matter to us. The third filter was just journals and reviews articles because we found a lot in Google Scholar. You have a lot of proceedings, papers, and dissertations and theses. Um, in, in another work, uh, we about uh, another systematic review about taxonomy and crowdsourcing. <coughs> we have um, the number of uh, the, the papers and the, on the pages that they are uh, from journals and reviews, and how much they, they are uh, dissertation theses or books. It's uh, some contribution. <coughs> and final. We have 20 articles that make up the systematic review, and these 20 articles, they uh, had to have some, um, some kind of classification, a structure with classification. Uh, uh, all the articles, they have classification. 
some kind of classification. <clears throat> so, uh, the results. We found uh, 10 articles in, uh, that use the self-determination theory that you must find here. Um, and, and other 10 articles that doesn't use, uh, that didn't use the, the self-determination theory. The self-determination theory uh, uses the extrinsic and intrinsic motivations, and um, it's, uh, I, uh, I study a, a little, and um, it comes from the motivation, uh, motivational theory that uh, is not uh, used as the same way that it was uh, in the business, right? Because the motivation uh, usually it's not uh, external. The, the motivation is something inside the people. So uh, what we had was the same factors in the self-determination theory articles and the articles that didn't use the self-determination theory was the the same results, right? And we get to nine motivation factors here: uh, financial, recognized glory, professional opportunity or career, knowledge and abilities development, uh, socialization, pleasure or fun, self-interest, and share information or outlook. Here we have uh, some of these names of the motivation factors that were used in the articles and we uh, group in these motivational factors. Uh, something interesting to speak here is that um, there is an author uh, called Redmond that in three different jobs he used two financial factors, uh, the name of money, financial and financial motivation. So I think here we, we are trying to get to some kind of standard or standardization in these motivation factors because uh, we found a lot of different uh, constructs to the same motivation factors. So I guess uh, uh, we, we are studying a very new um, field or area and we we would try to get to this standardization or to these common names, right? <clears throat> and the conclusion here uh, is that the standardization of labels to motivational factor is still information. Uh, there are two different approaches about the motivational factors. The self-determination theory and the, the non-self-determination theory the first uses this, the self-determination theory as, a, as an umbrella to classify the motivation factors and the second them. Uh, the use, uh, what we uh, conclude was that the use or not of the self-determination theory to this research uh, doesn't change the motivational factors. So what did we found? Uh, the, the, one article that uses the, the self-determination theory uh, has the, uh, has the love, glory, and altruism. And another article that didn't use the self-determination theory had the same uh, motivations. So, uh, for, one more time, for our study, this is not relevant. We, we are trying to uh, we develop a questionnaire to apply based on these uh, motivational factors to get to, uh, to factors of uh, motivational factors. So let's see if we work. But I guess it's something like that. Uh, my presentation is short because I have to present it uh, on some point and I have to be very Yeah, sure. well, one thing that I didn't say at the beginning of uh, uh, Fernando's presentation is that on Monday he will be presenting his paper in Portuguese at uh, Simpoi, which is the best or the, the best known uh, operations management uh, um, symposium uh, here in, in Brazil. Yeah, we will yeah, have yeah, an article in the back. Yeah, it's so it's very, very short. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is short, but it's, and besides, the most important thing is that we see that there's a lot of interconnection between yeah. all our work.
Okay, questions? Yeah, one more. Black. What word? Sourcing, I put there uh, this information about how many articles I had to read all of them to get to know about it. Because some of the um, articles doesn't have the um, keywords, so th 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 it's a little difficult, a little hard to know. The, just using title, summary, and keywords, I found some difficult. Yeah. And I, yeah, some, maybe we can develop something about it because I, I guess it's common to people that don't know there is some, uh, something right now because it's important. Okay. I have a question for you. Sorry. I, I want to our paper. So this is my dog. Uh, I have a, when I study in crowd sensing, so when Albert uh, said that uh, if you use money, you can get uh, some uh, a lot of people, but uh, it's not uh, the most quality of information. In our study, we do use five things like that. For example, money, uh, I can get a lot of people because I'm paid, but uh, if I, I know the cost of the, the, the job, I can do better my job and be more quality information. Yeah, so um, I don't think uh, maybe in a moment in this year, yeah, we uh, I I developed a study about types of crowdsourcing platforms, right, and the characteristics of these types of platforms, and uh, the, the types like micro tasks or uh, challenges and, and, and others, and we are um, developing a research about the motivation to the users of Uber to uh, evaluate the drivers, right? And this is our um, evaluation test, right? And we, the method to engage more people was to um, offer money to the response to our research. We will, um, um, have a lottery. Yeah, we will have a lottery to the people who will engage. But you could choose for uh, get the money or uh, turn the money to an institution. Uh, and uh, relating these two jobs, I I think this is empiric, right? That uh, when people are engaged in a lot they, they maybe they are more involved, and when they are uh, engaged by a challenge, either. So because when uh, the micro task like Amazon Pentacle, when you will receive four cents, you, uh, you stay all of your life there to to get to four cents. And I I always say about um, I, I I know uh, I knew a, a guy. Uh, Young boy, that uh, once he told me that he was participating in a NASA study. So he was a chemistry student here. And he said, Wow, you know, looking at NASA. And he said, Yeah, in my next project is about malaria. And malaria in English. Yeah, it's about uh, curing malaria. And, wow, <laughs> you are a genius. And I asked him, how do you do that? And he, uh, he, he copied me in a site, a website, a platform called Boink. Boink. I don't know if you read it. Uh, you, you just uh, authorize the, the 
some universities to use uh, the capacity of your computer in their research. But this, is, this was his motivation. He, can, he would tell to everyone that he was participating on a NASA project. But uh, he knew what was the project, uh, all about this. But his collaboration was just uh, uh, arbitrary, blur, uh, structural. So uh, I, I, I don't know if we can get to this result, but maybe we can get to something more uh, concrete on this Uber uh, research. And I think we can research about that, we will research about that for the next 10 years, maybe. For example, to donate money to any more questions? No? So I'd like to thank Fernando for his presentation.